This is how you create a hover facilitated tab. So this is working with me hovering. You can see the images inside, they're changing. So maybe you need to explain something. We're gonna be using Elementor Pro tab, a tiny bit of code that you can get for free, but I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. Quite a few steps here, but if you follow it through, you'll be okay. Let's go and grab the tabs widget first. Let's just drop that in, pretty standard there. It's not a bad idea at this moment though, even before you do the tabs to kind of decide on your container. So I'm gonna say that this container is gonna be say 1000 in width, okay? Because the contents that you put in here, you wanna kind of control how it looks, especially when you get to the mobile, which it just makes it easier. Now we're gonna go over to our tab. I'm gonna go and set this to be before. This is where the container width now makes kind of sense. I'm going to say that the width of this is going to be 250, which means the contents will now be 750 in the amount of a state I'm allowing them to have. I'm also going to just say align the items to be on the left hand side like that, just to keep things nice and consistent. Change the style of these before we go and add any other items in. I have no color there. In fact, I'm going to do the same over here as well. I don't want to have no color on the basically any of the tabs, and we'll go for the active as well. Made my titles have an orange uh, font when you are activated, and for everything else, it's just black like that. I'm not overly worried about the way you can stylize that. We are going to do something into those tab titles, though, okay? And I'll make that clear in a moment. Now, what we do inside of here is pretty important. First thing I'm going to do is actually get rid of tab two and three. We're just going to have one tab. You create this and then you replicate it for the other ones and it makes it so much easier. I'm gonna first go over here and I'm now just gonna zero out all of the items in there so it's full on 70, 750 pixels in width. I'm then gonna drop into here a image. I'm gonna set this to be a full and now I'm gonna go and pick my first image. It's a very good idea to use WebP images if you care about page speed optimization, but I'll leave that up to you. There they are. And now I'm just gonna kind of pick which one I wanna go for first. Select my image, it's a transparent background so it looks quite nice and fits in very well. Now let's go over to the title, but we're gonna add in an icon as well. So I'm gonna type in Astro Dynamic. We're gonna upload an SVG and I've just gone and got these and then use vectorizer.ai to convert them. We'll just go and pick this one over, uh, which one should we go for? Uh, I don't know. To be honest, they don't all make sense for what I'm using for. I just went and popped them in. I'm then gonna go over to my style, go down here to where it says icons. I'm gonna position it to be, well, it is on the before anyway. Put the size to be about 45 pixels. I think that's okay. And we'll just add in a little bit of spacing as well. That's how simple it was. Now what we're gonna do is just duplicate this a few times. And what I now do should make sense. Now we are still gonna add one extra bit in so that you don't have to click to make it hover. But what I'm gonna do is if I just go into the second one, I'm gonna change the name change the image, change the icon, and I'll do it for the third and fourth one a little quicker, just so that you understand it. Let's just change the words. So if I now hit update and I've got all my images in and we now just go and view this, can you now see what it's doing? It's giving you that kind of look, but you're having to click at the moment. So how can we do it where it will change on hover? Element.how, Maxime had a bit of code. I did a video on this a while ago. The link is in the video description. You grab the code and what you do is you go over to wherever your widget is for your tab. You type in HTML, your tab. It doesn't matter where you put it, but above is the best, best place to do it. And don't worry about the width of it because when it's actually on live, it's kind of invisible in a way. So you go and grab the code and you want to drop it in here. There is one little thing, I lied, there is one little thing you got to do. You'll notice over here it has the word dot hover tabs, okay? So what you want to do is just copy that or change it to be whatever you want. Go over to your actual tabs widget, go to the advanced tab, go to where it says classes and then just pop in the word hover tabs. When you're viewing it now on preview, by the way, if you are looking at it on your website and you start hovering, it won't always work. Remember, make sure you've put the hover tabs into the tabs CSS. Okay, make sure you've done that. But once you go to preview, look, booster, multiport, protected shield, you can literally see it changing there for you. And the images, by the way, were created in Canva, equal size, that's really important. So make sure your images are the right size, otherwise you're gonna have to do a bit of positioning. But if you get that right, and then you go and modify your colors, you can now have this hover. I mean, look, this is hover, I'm not clicking. You can have further text appear in here. 
you know, that's not a bad idea. You could have had other text. And if you wanted to do that, you would have just gone into your container. You've already got the image in there. You could have added in a text widget, be a custom width like that maybe or something. And then you could have just have modified uh, its positioning. I've done minus 180 and a 25 and a bit of a 42. Let's update that, go back over to our preview. And look, you've now got a bit of extra text appears as well. I mean, how simple and easy was that? Hey, I'm I Mimran Web Squadron. Hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that. Stat.